I just see pop. What's up guys, Liam here and welcome back to LSJTV. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Drop a like if you are looking forward to the video. I am looking forward to trying out something new, something for the very first time. And can you believe it, I've been training for over two years now, about two years and like two months, something like that. And I have never trained fasted, ever. Purely because I'm a kind of guy that likes to have a full stomach, likes to feel energized and full, ready for his workout. But with this new job and this new routine that I'm trying to get, I might have to do it every now and then, just so I can squeeze a session in. I have about an hour and 15 minutes at maximum. So that means I wouldn't have time to eat food, have time for that food to go down and then to train and then get changed. Blah, 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 blah. Right, I'm at work later, so I'll go get started. Drop a like if you are looking forward to the video, guys. Let's get it going. Drinking's enough of advice. Drugs just aren't suiting you right. You are just fine as a real thing. So here's an update on the home gym. There were panels all the way along here, which is kind of weird because I normally plant my phone here. But now we have the speakers and all of that kind of stuff, my shaker over there on that back wall, ready for the new piece of equipment to fill in this space right here. I'm not gonna tell you guys what it is just yet, but put your guesses, put your comments in the comment section down below. Have a think about what we have, leg press, squat rack, something like that. What are we missing? Put it in the comments. Nice kilos, feeling a little heavier than it usually does. It's only three sets of six though, so, you know, I'll take it. Nutrition hasn't been on point, training hasn't been on point, but still bashing out the bench press. Not bad. That's the big compounds done for the day. Now we're gonna move on to isolations. I am pushed, pushed for time because I've had phone calls for good news. I'm not gonna tell you yet because it's not my business to, but good news guys, very, very good news. But anyway, lack of time, right, so now we are gonna be doing supersets. To speed things up a bit, it's a good tactic. Don't knock it till you try it, it's very tiring. It will take it out of you, but give it a go, trust me. a minute ago right this is my first time training fasted and I hate it I really really hate it like I say I'm the kind of guy that wants to be full feel full and ready prepared for my workout but I thought you know what no you're, you're a graduate now you got a big boy job now try something different try something new but I tell you what oh my god my motivation to finish this workout I'm only halfway through is that I'm freaking starving Hey Sid. Jesse. Ah. Uh, are you a good girl?
you guys at home will be wondering why this is a push session because you guys know at the minute I'm doing push pull legs, push pull legs. But some of you guys will be wondering why I'm finishing off with biceps because that's normally on a pull day or you know an arm day. The way I like to train arms is by doing biceps and triceps together, supersetting. Because then you leave with a massive arm pump and you just feel good. I don't like having a bicep pump and not having a tricep pump. It just doesn't feel right to me because that's what I've always done. It works for me and I enjoy it, so I'm gonna keep on doing it. But what I didn't tell you mid-session was that the old man came through with some food. So my post-workout meal, and I'm gonna break the fast with this incredibly low calorie sandwich. Some may even say, Zero calorie. Mm. Thanks, Dad. You know what? This whole training fasting malarkey, it's not bad. Like I say, I've never done it before. I didn't notice any decrease in strength. If anything, it went up. Because last time I struggled on 90, whereas today 90 was, you know, easy. Mm. So I don't know. Maybe this is something I can get into. What do you guys do? Do you guys train faster? Do you like on a full stomach? Let me know in the comments. It might be something that I'm actually kind of forced into doing if I want to continue my training because of funny work times. Like right now, it's quarter past one and I've got to leave my house by two o'clock because I don't start work until three. But then I won't get back until like quarter past 11 at night. So the times are kind of messed up. But then in two days time, I could be in at 5.45, which would mean I'd have to be up at four in the morning. Do you see what I mean? It's kind of, it's weird. There's no real routine. I'm kind of trying to kind of find something that works for a middle ground, if you like. But I don't know. I'll get there. But anyway. You, you, you. So this is how my day will start. It is now 25 to three. So I've made it in plenty of time, which I always try and do anyway. Reason being that now I have sort of over 20 minutes to chill out, get changed, um, you know, say hello to everyone before I start the day. And yeah, it just makes it a lot easier if I get here early. So I always try to do my best and get here sort of half hour early, maybe something like that. Just makes it easier for me and them as well. Packages. Right, so very few of you watching will know, um, because I know a few of you guys um, are content creators or YouTubers or Instagrammers or whatever you want to call it. Um, a few of you will know how difficult it is if you film a lot. Like I've done two videos a week for the last two years. And so that's a lot of filming, that's a lot of memory, and that's a lot of stuff that you want to keep. Like the graduation video that you guys saw, the three minute clip at the end was all of old clips. Old clips that I had stored on hard drives like this. Hard drives that fill up pretty damn quick. But the reason that you do it is so that you can make videos like my graduation video with ease. I mean, don't get me wrong, it took 21 and a half hours of editing. Yes, you heard that right, 21 and a half hours. But it did mean that I could look back on all of that footage, draw it out of the hard drives and make a good kind of, you know, emotional video. I mean, if you saw my Instagram story, I actually rewatched it and, and the other day and I just burst out into tears. I just couldn't help it. But again, seeing the positives in that, that has inspired me to create another video, which I have in the works. It's going to take me a little while because I want it to be a good one. Um, but just know that I'm working on something pretty special. So anyway, the packages. Here is a brand new hard drive. It's just a Seagate expansion one. I have different colors, so I know kind of in my own head from which date, so from around about August um, in 2018, I'll be using this one. But the one that I wanted to show you guys really it's something you've not seen for a little while. It's a package from my friends over at Lean Active. Um, and I already know what's inside here. But if you guys are new to the channel, because there's been loads of new subscribers, thank you, by the way. I appreciate every single one of you. And I hope to see you in the comment section or something. Just, but I appreciate the love. I really do. But anyway, I work with a company called Lean Active. Um, and they have sent me a couple of, oh God, a couple of little bits. So inside we have the Lifted Focus whoa, pre-workout in the blue bubblegum flavor. This is my favorite flavor and my favorite product of theirs. Having said that though, the other product that we have inside here, I have not yet tried. It's been out for a good three months or so now, but I've actually not tried it. 
and it is the lifted pump. So we have the lifted focus and we have the lifted pump. Essentially, what they both are are kind of pre-workouts, really. So if you look on that website, it'll be in the pre-workout section, but this one is stimulant-free, which basically means it has no caffeine, right? But it's pretty much a pump product, hence the name lifted pump. In comparison to this, which will still give you all the pre-workout effects of a normal pre-workout, but it has caffeine, so you can see it says stim boost, but this one says stim free. If you want, if you want to have a pre workout, but it's late at night and you don't want to be kept up all night, you can have this lifted pump. It's available in two or three flavors, I think, but I think they, these are pretty much sold out. So if you want to try this, then uh, get on board using the links in the description box and all of that. So on top of that, we actually have a nice little shaker to mix up all of this new stuff in. So thank you to my friends over at Lean. Go show them some love with the links in the description box. And yeah, that is going to be that, guys. So that is that for this video. Whoa, God, I'm nearly dropping my new camera. Be careful, Liam. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I've definitely enjoyed making it because I tried something new in today's video. And you know what? It's, it's not that bad. Maybe I can train fasted more often. I don't know, who knows. But anyway, today's video, I'm gonna finish it off on a super positive note because you guys know I like to leave things on a positive. And, oh, I don't even know how to explain this. Remember a couple of videos ago when I said that one of my biggest barriers was that myself and Charlotte are no longer living together? Well, that's about to change. <laughs> If you are still watching, that means you are a true OG and I love you and appreciate you. To say thank you, I want to offer you guys a discount code on my website, lsjfitness.com. Link is in the description box. Just use the code YouTubeOG and you can grab yourself a little bit of a discount. Thank you guys. Thank you to everyone if you're watching. Hope you have enjoyed it. I'll see you next time.